see i've really been feeling this look this one has been on repeat lately it's so easy and fun but today's video i'm going to show you all another great protective style i did a faux lock video i believe last year or the year before last and it did really well and now i'm going to show you all faux locks but with a wig i am so hype about this particular install because individual locks and individual braids individual twists all of that can be somewhat time consuming but with the wig you can just throw it on install it real quick and you can go out the house and have your edgy really cool look going without having to put in all the extra work so this particular unit is from Razy signature hair i actually did a video for them last year sometime where i did a braided wig and it was a really really cool design but the faux locks, I love faux locks. They look so gorgeous. And I love that I'm going to be able to get them really quick and easy. So this particular unit comes in this beautiful satin bag. It has their logo on it. It's in this rich purple color. So I'm just going to open this up. And I'm going to show you all what it looks like. This is actually my first time seeing it on camera with you all. So I'm really interested to see what it looks like. And the one that I selected is the Raylock Pro. Oh, this looks cute already. So mine is a full lace. If you select just the regular ray lock, then that one's gonna be a lace front. So you'll have lace in the front of the unit and then in the back, you'd have west. But mine has lace around the entire unit, which is pretty cool. Look at that. Like how amazing are we? This is so creative. And this lace looks like it was done really well. Oh, and it already has the little accent jewelry that comes with it. So that's cool. I know when I originally wore faux locks, it took me a while to find really nice accessories. But the fact that this one already comes with accessories in it is so bomb. I just love that. And I also selected sparse baby hair. Now you can opt not to have any baby hair at all. This is where the baby hair is. You can opt not to have that. You can opt to have a lot of baby hair, or you can opt to have the sparse like I did. And if you get the sparse, it's gonna be minimal. You're not gonna have really, really overly pronounced baby hair. So well constructed. And this is what the locks look like. Oh, close. I think it's focused. Yeah, it's focused now. I'm excited to put this on and it looks like the lace is around the entire unit. So it is a full lace and generally with full lace, you don't have lace back here, but this one does have it back here. This is what the inside construction looks like. You have two combs on the side, one comb at the bottom. There's also a comb in the middle. And I guess that's more so good if you don't wear a stocking cap and I most likely won't wear a stocking cap with this particular unit and it has an adjustable strap. I got mine in size small. Let's see if it fits. I'm gonna take this unit off and put this one on. Oh yeah, that fits great. How cute is that? <laughs> in no time at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am gonna spray the Sally Hansen on the lace because I want it to be tinted and be my scalp color. So I'm going to spray that on the lace using medium glow. I'm going to use medium glow. I'm also going to cut off the lace and then we're going to begin the install. I'm excited. Every morning I'm going to be here. Why are you crying? Why so many? For you, look in the mirror and think this. 
is true Something as perfect and pretty as you I never could live, you gotta believe But you think my heart's not there Cause it's been a while You keep telling me it's been a while Let me tell you something Yes, I know we've been together for so long look I am such a fan of it and I'm really really feeling this accent jewelry it really helps to add interest to the look and the X's that are here are just so cute I really like that I probably wouldn't have thought to do that on my own I don't know if y'all could see that look how it has the little X's like intertwined in the lock I don't know how that was done, but that's really cool. And this is how the hair looks. It's really not too shiny or anything. It's just a really, really nice, cool look that doesn't require a lot of time and effort. And the baby hair, although it's a bit different from what I'm accustomed to, because I usually don't do my baby hair this pronounced, I usually have really light baby hair. I feel like it still looks great. It really mimics the look that most girls wear when they put baby hair in the front with faux locks or with braids. So I think it looks natural in that way, but you can opt out of that and you could actually just take out your natural baby hair in order to help make it look um, more like your hair. And it's light, it's not heavy, which is pretty cool. Like I don't really feel like I have something really weighed down on my head, which is awesome. And they feel soft. They actually feel like the hair that you'd use if you were installing this on your regular hair. Um, so that's good. It feels nice. It doesn't feel really rigid and, and rough like locks can feel. My husband used to have locks and um, his felt much rougher than these. So these are soft to the touch. I think I kind of want to change my top. Y'all know how I did that scarf, like top type look? I want to show y'all how to do that with this particular style. I think it would look really cute. So let me go grab a scarf and I'm going to show you all how to do that and then we'll end this video. All right, so this is one of my favorite head wraps that I wear. And I found this cool hack online where you can take a scarf and it's really good to use one that's long and also wide enough, especially if you have a, a decent size bust area, then you take this, you'd wrap it around and you can create a top using a regular scarf or head wrap. I decided to use head wraps because they're large enough and they're gonna cover my bust area enough so that I'm not um, doing a, a flash show or anything. So I'm just wrapping it around the back 
and then you're just gonna tie it. Make sure the ends are even before you tie it. So you're gonna tie it in the front. And I'm gonna take this blue top off <laughs> once I have it tied and I show you guys so you all can see the finished look but I didn't want to do it with all my skin out. So I'm just gonna tie it like that. And you can already see the top starting to form. And this is gonna look really cute with some high-waisted pants, a high-waisted skirt. So you're just gonna tie it again. And you wanna make sure when you tie it the first time that it's, it's pretty tight. So nothing's coming out of there. You're gonna tie it again. And you could take this piece and just kind of have it flow on this side and then tuck this under like this. Or you can have it, this, this part at the bottom, you can either fold under and bring through up and through the top if you want. And that'll be a nice, Cool design but the thing is this part up here doesn't like to stay in place but if it would stay that's cute that's how I wore it in my last video that I wore this little scarf top type thing and that adds interest to the look or you can just leave that down there and we can tie it again You can kind of have like a little bow tie look in the front and that'll be cute too. It's just really playing around with it to see what look you enjoy most. So I'm gonna take off the blue one and do the look that I desire and come back on. All right, so this is how I ended up tying it. Instead of putting this little flap or bow on this side, like I showed you all, I decided to put it on this one and I bought the bottom through this area. I don't know if I explained that right or not, but you just kind of play around with it and you'll get a really cool look. And I have on these high-waisted jeans from Abercrombie & Fitch. They have pockets. I'll show you all the entire look in a moment. This is what it's looking like with my hair. I think it looks so great and it's so perfect for this summer. Going to the beach or something or just doing a little date night, hanging out with some friends. This will be really cute. I need to put some heels on or something. I'm gonna put on the Steve Madden clear mule shoes that have a black heel with this particular look and we're ready for a date night or a night out with friends or something. Yeah, I've really been telling Gerard I need to get a vlogging camera because this one is so heavy and bulky. And when we go on our vacation, I don't want to have to carry this big, large camera. But nevertheless, this is what the entire look looks like. Don't look at my feet too long. They're ashy and I didn't actually paint my toenails. Um, so they look a little jacked, but these are like, these pants are cropped a bit, which I like, and it actually appeals really nicely to the summertime. You could also wear these in the spring. They have pockets. And I believe I found these on sale. I can't remember how much they were. They were like 40 or $50, but they're so cute. And they have like this pleating action going on just a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see it. Is it in focus? All right, and then you just take your scarf and you could do this little tube top crop top type look. And you're still not showing too much skin because you have on a high-waisted pair of jeans. And you can also do this with a nice skirt. I feel like it's perfect for the beach. So if you're going on a vacation or something like that, steal this look, it's gonna look great. So all right guys, that's the end of this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check the description box for all the links and specifications and how to actually go about purchasing a unit like this or looking into one like this. 
Their website isn't active currently. You all would actually have to shop via their Instagram and I'll provide that information below. Share this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.